My name's John Watson and I work for Skill Builders. Here at Skill Builders we spend a lot of time tuning SQL and teaching people to tune SQL. One of the tools we use all the time is Explain Plan. Many people working with SQL tuning are deeply suspicious of Explain Plan and they feel that they have to resort to actions such as enabling SQL trace to get the real truth. Well, why do people worry about explain plan? They worry that it tells lies. Now, I disagree with the statement that explain plan tells lies, but one has to realize that even if it isn't lying, it may not be telling the whole truth. The problem is that explain plan generates an execution plan, but then when you actually run the statement, a different plan is chosen. Now, there are a number of reasons why the predicted plan may not be that which is used. For instance, dynamic sampling, particularly in release 12, where use of SQL directives can result in a lot more dynamic sampling than previous releases. I've actually sometimes been forced to disable the use of SQL directives in order to get plan stability and sensible parse times. Another reason is the adaptive features. Release 11 introduced adaptive cursor sharing, where multiple execution plans are stored in the cursor, and the choice between them is made during the soft parse. Release 12 introduced adaptive execution plans, where the plan may actually be switched during execution. But in my experience, the most common reason for explain plan being less than accurate is use of bind variables. Explain plan takes your statement and does a hard parse, but it does not peak any bind variables. Indeed, the bind variables may not even exist. Explain plan will still run quite happily. This cripples the optimizer. As it does not know what the bind value is, it cannot make effective use of histograms. It just has to guess at the cardinalities and generate a plan accordingly. So, let's take a look at what can happen. I'm going to work in the HR demonstration schema. So, let's generate a plan for a simple query. Explain plan for select some salary from employees where department ID equals colon B1. Explained. Now, to see the plan that has been developed, select star from table, dbmsx plan, dot display. And what does Oracle want to do? It wants to do an index range scan on the emp department ix index to retrieve the rows in whatever department we've actually asked for. So far, so good. Now let's set the bind variable and actually run the query. So I'll define the variable b1 as numeric and give it a value. Execute colon b1 equal to 50. And now run my query. Select some salary from employees where department ID equals b1. Now, explain plan predicted use of an index, but let's see the plan that was actually used. Select star from table, dbmsx plan, dot display cursor. And by default, that's going to show the plan for the last statement I ran. And, well, I never. It was a full table scan. Not the index range scan, the explain plan predicted. So, explain plan told me a lie. Or did it? Let's try again. To make sure we start from the same point, I'll clean out the library cache with alt system flush shared pool. This time, I'm going to set my environment variable to a different value. I'm going to set it to 10. 
and run the query. Take a look at the execution plan used. And, oh gosh, this time it used an index, exactly as explained plan predicted. So, what's going on? Take a look at the predicted cardinalities. For department 10, when I set B1 to 10, Oracle predicted or expected, the cost-based optimizer expected one row. So it chose to use an index. But when I had my depart my B1 variable set to 50, the expected cardinality was 45, which is why it used a scan. And when I ran explain plan here, the estimate was 10 rows, which happens to be low enough to make index access best. Now, we can in fact see why it guessed 10. First, how many rows are actually in that table? Select count staff from employees, 107. How many department IDs are in that table? Select distinct department ID from employees where department ID is not null. 11. So we've got 107 employees distributed across 11 distinct department IDs. So on average, you might actually expect about 10 people per department, which is what Explain Plan told us. But the skew in the data, that there's only one employee in Department 10 and 45 employees in Department 50, meant that Explain Plan actually had no idea what would happen when we ran the statement and expanded the variable. What can you do about this? Well, you have to accept that explain plan cannot always tell the truth because the it doesn't have the information it needs to do that. The answer is to give it that information. Perhaps you can substitute realistic values for the binds. If so, be sure to test with a range of values. Or you can embed hints in the code, the cardinality hint, to tell explain plan what to expect. And overall, you have to be aware that the prediction may not match reality. And remember that while I've described what for me has been the most common reason for explain plan anomalies, there are other, perhaps more complicated reasons too.